These are the fabled Hanging Gardens of Babylon. They are believed by some to be the first instance of hydroponics use, which is essentially a highly water-efficient, soil-free form of horticulture. And while the legend of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon has been reduced to ruins in modern-day Iraq, the namesake and farming style has inspired a small company in Richmond, Virginia, trying to alleviate some of the waste and heavy carbon footprint of the agricultural supply chain. My name is Alexander Olson. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Babylon Microfarms. The mission of Babylon Microfarms is to accelerate the adoption of sustainable indoor farming. We build small-scale indoor farms to help people grow fresh produce on site. And there are a couple of components to the business. Like our product is the microfarm, we call it the gallery. And it is um, a turnkey indoor farm that you can just need water and electricity and you can start growing and farming your own fresh produce. Behind the scenes, we have the Babylon IQ platform, which is a remote management system that comprises Internet of Things sensors and software that allows us to remotely control these farms anywhere across the world and aggregate all of that data so that we can learn how to uh, service the farms better. Up to 60% of fresh produce is wasted before it reaches the consumer's plate. Not only that, but you have food miles, the pesticides, fertilizers, all of the inputs that go into agriculture that can be really detrimental to the environment. And by growing plants indoors, using hydroponics, we're able to minimize a lot of those impacts. So that's a big advantage for the industry and for what we do. We're actually bringing food production to the point of consumption. So we eliminate that supply chain completely. We enable our end consumers to have a much higher quality, uh, much more nutrient dense product that they, in some cases, literally can't source due to seasonality, due to supply chain and so forth. So we're enabling new possibilities on the growing side. And then also by having the food there grown on site, we're kind of fostering a behavioral change. We're inspiring engagement and we're educating people about where their food comes from. And uh, in most cases, it means they end up eating healthier and, and better food. My name is Julia Danisevich. I'm a registered dietitian, and I work here at Virginia Commonwealth University, located in Richmond, Virginia. So when I was first tasked with handling our two micro farms on campus, I was a little nervous at first just because I have no green thumb, I have no experience with gardening, not even just having a small basil plant in my home. With the help of Babylon, I've been able to manage the whole growing process uh, pretty well, if I do say so myself. The more time it takes from plants or produce coming from the farm to our table, the more nutrients are lost. So it's cool to be able to take this and just put it directly into our food so you know that the nutritional value is gonna be much higher than the traditional produce that we're importing in. With the Babylon Microfarms app, everything is very easy. It lays out right in front of me of what needs to be harvested, what needs to be transplanted, and if I ever have any issues, they'll know even before I know sometimes, and they'll give me a nice courtesy phone call and let me know what's going on. And it's also really cool to show these students of these new technological advances and just how BCU is taking steps to become more sustainable. The way we look at the farm today is you have cartridges in the base, a little bit like a uh, you know, printer, and you plug in those um, cartridges of nutrients, and then the farm will automatically dose the um, water reservoir, which fills itself automatically. Then we ship consumables to the client. So that's the um, cartridges of nutrients, and it's the pre-seeded pods, a little bit like a, a Keurig. You know, you pop them in, you scan the barcode, and then the farm knows what to, what to grow. To run a hydroponic system, you have to control the solution the plants are grown in. So that's nutrients, pH, irrigation cycles, um, and dissolved oxygen. So we remotely control those, and those variables can be different for each type of crop and for each stage of growth. So we have to adjust those throughout the growth cycle, and that's part of the learning experience that we've kind of cut out of the process. Uh, and then you have the environment that the crops are grown in, so we're controlling the ventilation um, and making sure that we have visibility on how the crops are growing. Um, so doing all of that remotely just removes a huge kind of learning uh, barrier that a lot of people face. Our current farms produce about eight pounds per week of leafy greens. 
we are part of the solution, we're definitely not the solution. And we're really packaging up a unique uh, experience for customers that gives them access to higher quality and fresher product that typically is being reserved for kind of Michelin star restaurants and you know organic farmers markets and we're putting it in a box we're doing it at scale in a way that anyone else uh, can take part.